hey welcome back so in this tutorial uh, we were we are doing a new series on flask the first thing what we are looking at is how can we take any data from excel and represent it on a web page using um, any framework so the first thing what we are going to do here uh, do here is let me walk you through what we what we are trying to do here and then let's actually implement it so this is the html what we are writing for data table so if you don't know what data table is let's take a quick look at this so if you just do data table here so data table is a jquery plugin with which you can make your tables interactive so instead of actually having a uh, non-interactive tables you can actually build an interactive tables so you can go and read more about our data tables and this is the css we need to integrate into our code to actually make our data table work so that's what we are actually trying in this uh, experiment so all we are doing here is um, this so this is my uh, so this is my uh, excel and the name of the Excel is financial sample dot Excel SV and the name of the sheet is sheet one. So all I am doing here is uh, it's a pandas function PD read Excel and here it's financial sample XLS and sheet name equal to sheet and I am calling the function generate HTML here basically and we are passing the data frame. So it's taking the data frame and data frame to HTML and here it's passing table ID equal to table and in uh, here this is our HTML with all the data table CSS we are adding here and once we do that we return the HTML and that HTML is uh, written into this file and that's what we are displaying it in the browser and how does it look like so let me actually go here and this is the name of my uh, uh, file which is demo data table dot py which is the file we are looking at here so let's actually go and run this cool so you might have looked at df to html if i just do df to html in uh, python so df to html would basically print you something like uh, a static html uh, it's going to look like this it's not interactive so it's just going to display the data back here in a um, non-interactive manner but if you want to make it interactive and make it searchable and sortable so that's basically what uh, uh, data tables helps us to achieve and that's basically what we are doing here so we are taking a pale representation of it and we can do it here so let's also actually say we can search by country so let's say i only want data for canada here okay there is a space here so if i fix the space i get all the data for canada here which is 52 plus uh, some some 101 odd or 140 odd entries and you can actually increase that here so you can play around with what is of your interest so you can actually just make it into so so let's actually say i'm also interested in anything with sale price 20. so if i search for it so anything with 20 actually finds finds it here and similarly let's say we also want to search by segment so if i type government here so we only get all the data for government here which is roughly 300 odd entries of 700 so this basically converts it into this but one thing we are looking at this is this is a static html file can we render it using flask and in the third part we are going to look at how to call this with flask uh, how to call the script with flask in real time then render it so the first part is we have just discussed from a static uh, excel how to read it in pandas and how to generate uh, html with data tables and display a static html file the next part we'll look at how to take this static html file and render it 
and in the third part that's where we are going to call this file real time call this script real time in uh, flask generate the html and then render it so these are the three series uh, what i'm doing on this on my flask series and see you in the next video thank you for joining